and welcome to the Best Travel Channel. My name is Gareth. Today and for the next few videos I'm going to be showing you around where I was born in North Wales. So today I'm in Bangor and I'm going to be showing you around there and it was the city where I was born. Um, it's been surreal coming back here because I've not been here in so many years but I'm really looking forward to showing you around. Church Island, or Ynys Tysilio, features a graveyard and characteristic church, St Tysilio's Church, built in the 1400s on the grounds of a hermitage 800 years earlier. Designed in 1826 by Thomas Telford, Menai Suspension Bridge connected mainland Wales to Holyhead, a once challenging journey by boat due to whirlpools. The connection between Ireland, Holyhead and roads to London boosted Bangor's status. Garth Pier is a must-see as one of the UK's longest piers. The Victorian Pier was once where cruises would dock on their journey to Blackpool and the Isle of Man. If you ever go, you must try the Whistle Stop Cafe, where they serve traditional Welsh food. So I'm on top of the Roman camp at the moment, um, although archaeology seems to point to a Norman castle which was here um, and it was built by Hugh d'Avranche who was the Earl of Chester and most of North Wales at the time. Um, it had a very good vantage point to guard themselves from battles and attacks from the, the uh, Welsh. Um, but eventually Hugh de Varange was beaten um, during a Welsh revolt by the Prince of Gwynedd, who was called Griffith ap Cynan. <laughs> 
The name Banger is said to come from the old Welsh word for a fence of twigs and rods that surrounded a monastery that once stood on these grounds since the year 525, and today's rendition was designed by Sir George Gilbert Scott, grandfather of the architect Giles Gilbert Scott. Across the Menai Straits from Bangor is Beaumaris. Not far from Beaumaris is Barren Hill Mansion. Barren Hill Mansion was built in the 17th century and was supposed to accommodate King Charles I. We all know what happened there. Taxes ushered the wealthy Buckleys out. It later became a place for Polish soldiers to stay during the 1940s. However, during a cold spell, they reportedly lit a fire which burnt some of the mansion. It was left to decay. Rooms such as greenhouses, stables and servant quarters can still be seen. It's been a long day, but do join me next time. Bye for now.